Born in Massachusetts in 1872, Thomas Rowe begins attending university in England in his early 20s. While abroad, he attended many operas, including one called Maritania, and became infatuated with the brunette lead. He managed a meeting with the young star, and it did not take long for Lucinda to become attracted to the scholarly fellow. Lucinda's family, rich and socially powerful, did not approve of Thomas Rowe, a simple student from America who had neither great wealth nor a powerful name. So the young lovers carried on in secret, sending each other many love letters addressed to Maritania and Don Cesar, the names of the lead characters in Lucinda's opera. They met as often as they could at a fountain in a private courtyard. Near the end of the opera's run, the two lovers agreed to elope, knowing Lucinda's highbrow family would never let her marry Thomas. On the last night of the performance, Thomas waited at their fountain, but Lucinda never showed. Her parents found out about their plans and picked her up from the opera that night, sending her to live elsewhere, presumably where Thomas would not be able to find her. He waited until dawn for his lover, but eventually returned to America alone. Over time, Thomas Rowe developed a respectable name in his industry, but the loss of Lucinda left him a changed man. He sent countless letters to his love, but most of them were returned unopened. He finally received a letter from England addressed to Don Cesar, begging him to forgive Lucinda's parents and promise to her never-ending love. Included in the envelope was Lucinda's obituary. The news left Rowe in a fragile state, and his doctors insisted he move south to a less demanding climate. In 1925, Thomas settled in St. Petersburg, Florida, and began building the Don Cesar, a monument to his love. In the lobby, Thomas recreated the fountain where he and Lucinda spent many nights. Finished in 1928, the Pink Palace hosted some of the most well-known names of the era, including Lou Gehrig, Al Capone, and Franklin D. Roosevelt. The hotel managed to weather the Great Depression thanks to a message allegedly from Lucinda warning of financial troubles that led Thomas Rowe to hide large sums of cash inside the hotel. Thomas Rowe eventually married a woman named Mary, but his greatest love would always be Lucinda. In 1940, Thomas suddenly collapsed in the lobby of his hotel and died, leaving the Don Cesar to his wife instead of the employees as he intended, but hadn't had the opportunity to amend his will. Knowing nothing about the hotel business, Mary was unable to maintain the Pink Palace and the resort quickly deteriorated. In 1942, the US Army purchased the property and it became a convalescent hospital for World War II veterans. When the Army had no more use for the building, it was abandoned, the windows boarded up and doors barricaded. A creepy reputation descended upon the palace claims that the property was haunted by Al Capone and Babe Ruth ran rampant and remained for years to come. Finally, in 1972, William Bowman Jr. saved the Don Cesar from demolition and restored the hotel to its palace-like status with the help of millions of dollars. Functioning as a hotel once more since 1973, Guests and employees of the Don Cesar claim to have spotted apparitions and strange occurrences that continue happening to this day. Many describe a man in a linen suit with a Panama hat walking along the beach or in the corridors of the fifth floor hallways, sometimes accompanied by a woman with long, dark hair. Others have described a woman in a 1940s style nurse uniform who appears in the kitchen area and gave some ghostly assistant to a dishwasher one night. The wait staff are also said to be assisted by someone holding open the swinging doors to the kitchen area, but the perpetrator of this phenomenon remains unknown. Is the Don Cesar in St. Petersburg haunted? Do apparitions of Thomas Rowe and his long lost Lucinda roam the shores of the seaside resort? Could there be other spirits inhabiting the property and helping the staff? These are all great questions for you to investigate the next time you are in the area and can afford a luxurious night at this lavish getaway.